Hi there! From now on, in each lesson, we will apply everything we already learned from the previous lesson, and so we will create a new project from the beginning. Of course, the first step is to create a new document. Now, for the sake of this example, I will import a DWG file to be used as reference for the design stage. From this window, I will select my scaling factor, which in this case is 1. Now, this is my reference drawing. Of course, in this first stage, I will draw my walls. So, select the proper function from the menu. Then, from the beam object library, I will choose my material layer composition for the wall. And for example, I will take this insulated measurings block wall. Now, with the aid of the snap function, I will insert the first node for this wall. Then, I will adapt my alignment with the F6 or F5 functions key and click again to insert the ending point of the wall. But now, as I have this file reference on the background, I can also use the magic wand to quickly insert all my walls. And so I will start to select each wall I want to insert. But keep in mind that the way I create this line will also determine the alignment of the new wall inserted. If, like in this case, the wall has a different thickness for the one I need, I can just select it and change the thickness from the properties panel. And in the case I left some gaps between the walls, I can easily modify this wall from here. So select the wall, grab the light blue triangle and adapt the wall to the new length. And now let's insert some details to our basic building. And I will start by inserting the windows. And so click on the windows function from the menu, then open the beam object library and select the window model. And now I just have to click on the walls where I want to insert my window. This window can be edited directly from the floor plan view and from the properties panel. But also for this function, I can use a magic wand. For the opposite side of the building, I want to use a different style of window. So open again the beam object library and select this typology. Again, by using the magic wand, I just have to trace a line across the reference window. While on this wall, I want to insert an aperture, also by using the magic wand, and then I can modify the dimension directly from the 2D view. But in this case, I want to change the shape through the horizontal section. And when confirmed, this is my result. With exactly the same procedures used for the windows, I can insert the doors in my drawing. So select the door function from the menu, and using the magic wand, I just need to trace this line. Now that the doors are inserted, I can start to edit one by one each of them. So for example, I want to change the opening direction for this one, and I can use this function from the properties panel, but I can also use the F7 and F8 function key from the keyboard, in order to change the direction and open inside of the door. But let's see the result in the 3D view. Now you will notice that the dimension of this aperture should be adapted to the dimension of the elevator. But also the windows are placed in the wrong position, so I can select one by one each window and change the elevation of the base by using this function. But I can also select all the windows in one go, and this door as well. And by using this function, I can align all these objects to the upper side of this door. Of course, I can apply the same procedure to the opposite side of the building. So select all the windows and assign a new dimension for the 8. Now let's come back to the 2D view in order to insert some horizontal envelopes. So I will start from this point, and then click on each vertex, in order to define the geometry of my horizontal envelope. Now start again from this point, because I need to insert an horizontal envelope for each apartment of this building. Now with regard to the external areas of my building, I want to use a different typology of horizontal envelope. And so from the menu, I will choose that balcony slab. Also here, I will design my object by inserting vertex node and then just click on the Confirm button. Also for the side of the building, I will use the same procedures and same object. But with the difference that in this case, I need to leave aperture here, in which I will insert my staircase. Now let's go on to another object of the building. On this side of my balcony, 
I want to insert a sunshade structure, and I will start by inserting the columns. By using the measurements tool of the menu, I can extract the correct dimension of this column. And now open the beam object library and the project folder. Then select the beams and column section, and into the all of rectangular folder, I will insert a new element. On the properties panel, I will type in the new dimensions. Then click confirm, and this is my column section. Now come back to the drawing, and let's select this object from the beam object library. I can insert my column with a couple of clicks. And I can also change the alignment by using the F5 and F6 function keys. Now from the menu I will select the sunshade object. And then I will need just one click to insert this object to the workspace. Then in order to speed up the process, I can also select all these objects. And then by using the filter, I can select only the sunshade object. And change the alignment of the selection. And by using the copy and paste function, I can duplicate my object. Then again, select all the objects in one go and use this function in order to filter my sunshade and change some properties for all of them. And now jumping on the 3D view, I can insert some barrier to my balcony. So select the railing from the menu. Choose the model from the beam object library. For example, I can use a modern railing. And start inserting the object by using the snap node function. For the balcony, I prefer drawing the railing on the 2D view. And so I will click on each vertex and then confirm to insert my object. For the opposite side of my building, I want to choose a different typology of barrier. So instead of the railing, I will select the ornamental wall from the menu. Then I can use also the magic wand to quickly insert this object. And then coming back to the 3D view, I can select this wall, and from the properties panel, I will change the vertical dimension. And now let's see some deeper customization. And I want to start from this door as an example. So select the object, and on the right, from the properties panel, I can add or delete some detail. For example, here I want to add the door seal. I'm changing the visualization style, so we can see the textures of this object. And to also add a casing, and edit its details. And so I'm changing the width, from 8 to 7 cm, and all the other parameters of this box. With this function, from the toolbar, I can quickly assign the materials to each part of this door. For example, I can assign this light grey wooden texture to the door itself. While for the seal, I want to use this kind of wood. Now that this door is complete, I can use it as reference in order to apply the same editing to all the doors of my building. And so I will use this function from the toolbar that allows me to select and copy some properties of this door. And to do so, I just have to click on the door and from the right panel, I can choose which properties I want to copy and paste to the other doors. So for example, I'm leaving the model and the dimension of the door, and I'm just copying some properties from the geometry box and the material as well. Then I just need to trace a selection rectangle with all the doors of the building, and apply these properties to all the entities from here. Of course, I can do the same operation for the windows, and so for example, I can change the properties of this one, and I will copy the same material for the fixture. Then I can select all the windows of the same style, and apply a seal from the properties panel. Then using the same tool as in before, I want to select only the materials for this window, in order to apply this texture to all the windows in my floor plan. Also for the windows on the side of the building, I want to apply a seal, but this time I want to use a different material. So open again the beam object library, and from the general section, I want to choose a different color of marble.
Now as we are applying the materials, I want to select a grass tile to be assigned at my balcony slab floor. Now with regard to the apartment floor, I want to use another procedure in order to assign the materials to the surface. So let's come back to the floor plan on the 2D view and select the zone node from the navigation tree. Now on the main window, under the level 1 zone, I want to insert three sections. So the first one will be the apartment 1, then we have apartment 2 and apartment 3. From the three dotted button, I will select different colors to identify my apartments. Now coming back to the 2D view, I will use this tool in order to define the rooms of my apartment. Of course I will assign the proper name to each room by typing it here in the properties panel. And so we have the bedroom, the kitchen and the bathroom here. And I can also copy and paste the room function to the relative space of the other apartment. Now with a multiple selection, I will take all the room of the same apartment and assign it to the zone 1 and apartment 1. And I will apply the same procedure also for the apartment 2 and the apartment 3. Now from the visibility menu, I can activate the colors code that identify my apartments. But let's come back to the 3D view, because now I can assign the material for each of the room of my apartment. And in this case I want to use the same wooden parquet for all the floors of my building. Then open again the material section of the beam object library and select the texture we want to use for the external surface of the walls. For example I can use these bricks textures for this facade of the building. While for the other facade, I prefer to use this light grey plaster. So I will click on each section of the walls, in this case also for the partition walls, Eventually I can choose this mosaic texture to be applied to the bathroom of my building. 